Okay. I'm just checking audio, video, all those good things. It's like, I sit here playing with the Chromebook. So I thought, I'll check and see. Oh, got to go up here to the top chat. Live chat. Just checking. If nothing, oh, I'm, hi, Mona. Did what? How does the volume sound or anything like that? Picture quality. Trying to figure out how to go to Florida and what can I take that'll work. I'm not sure what I need, what to take. I like to do a live while I was there. And the microphone. I don't want to mute myself. A test, yes. <laughs> it's like, just, I am live, yes. Hi, June. Hi, so Terry. I'm just playing with the Chromebook while I'm sitting here. See, the camera position and whatnot. You're just sitting on the arm of my chair. I'm sitting here doing this binding. And I thought, let's check and see how the Chromebook does. But it's like, I don't want to put myself on the iPad. Everybody saying hi. Hi, Mary Webb. Check, check, check. One, two. <laughs> Is it, I'm just goofing off. I still couldn't find to add a person or any of that other stuff. It's good. Now, when I go on Zoom, I gurgle. Hi, Deb. Everybody saying their hellos. I'm just working on my binding. Mona, got your stickers today. They're very cute. Yeah. My sticker from Mona is on the back of my sewing machine that is in the box. Okay. June says I'm clear on here too. Because I only paid $99 for this. And so if it breaks on a trip, it would be not so much out of my pocket to replace. But glad to know. Don't know how long my fingers are going to last on this sewing my thumb's getting tired i don't have one one fourth of it done yet but it's like you don't know unless you try right so later i'll go back and see what it's like In other words, I was going to test, had a choice, test my iPad because it's old and outdated how it would do, or this, if it is newer. Yes, Terry. It's like, you got to think about accidents that happen on, on your trips. It's like, how much insurance would it cost? How much this? How much that? But at least I watch other people's on here. So I thought, I'll give it a try. Because I do want to take something to Florida with me to play with. Anybody want to help do all this hand sewing? The string shows up really well. I can see it in the camera. 
I wouldn't think that string would show up like that, but it did. I didn't even know how good this camera would even be. It looks kind of blue, but that could be my lighting. Because I'm sitting in the dark, kind of. And how's your video on going, Terry? Your next thing you're going to post for us. Phone or iPad for video for editing. Hi, Lily Pop Love. Hi, Denise. <laughs> it's, I just watched your box opening from 18 hours ago. Because I'm just sitting here. Doing the, the work everybody hates. The hand sewing. New tripod and remote. I think it went well. Well, that's always a good thing. My video the other day, my short, I did between my new phone and my watch. Because I could start the video on my watch. That was kind of cool. It was like having a remote. Yeah, put those hearts up for Le Denise there, so Terry. <laughs> it's like, we know what that's all about. Yeah, the, the watch is fancy. It's my first ever. They said it only cost me $10 a month more to have it on with my phone. So if I leave my phone behind, I Northern Willows. I can actually make phone calls and everything off of here. Now, sending a text message is a little bit rougher. I love hand sewing. You are very techy. Good for you. It's like I'm figuring things out. Because it's one of those things I didn't know unless you buy it. And thanks for putting up Denise's channel. But I know if I go through Zoom on and then into YouTube, then I'm gurgly on this. This is the same one that I gurgled on when I go on Kathy's. Everybody's still saying their highs. These little quarter inches at a time. Yeah, so it must have something must have something to do with Zoom. Because it's the same machine. Because this is the one Jen calls me the underwater person. And then my old laptop, I'm the pixelated on there. And Lisa put up Mona's. What, are we going to have the fight of the wrenches? And um, They're going back and forth who puts on who. That must be it. Yeah, I just watched the Greenland quilter show her fabrics from her vacation. So if I take this, I couldn't join a Kathy live. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no fight. Lisa's getting paid. 
You guys all get paid with a lot of thank yous. That's all I pay with. Friendship. We do have fun. We get along all together. Now if I could just put this over in front of the camera ways. Oh, I don't have to keep looking away. Oh, we have fun, Lily, or Denise, I should say. If the other Denise was here, I'd be doing Denise P and Denise S. Kitchen run, foodie. <laughs> I When I left off the live, I finished putting on my last binding side. And then I ran up and I said, I deserve onion rings. So I went up and got me some onion rings. So while I was there, I got me taco salad for dinner tonight. Yep, there, there's the where we get in trouble. Kathy Quilts and Crafts. Yeah, these onion rings are delicious. Went up there one time and they got a different box in. And I says, throw those onion rings out and reorder the other ones. These are soft. They're not super crunchy. And they're excellent. Nice thick onion. But someone misordered the wrong box. One click away. Oops, rocking the camera. Sorry that, ladies. Trying to reposition to do some more. I'm doing hand binding. A lot of people say the dirty work. This is a dirty word. Hi, Gladys. A lot of people don't like putting their binding down by hand at the end, Denise. And I think you're one of them. I will not ever do the last sewing with a sewing machine. I always say my grandmothers would, great grandmas, would turn in their grave if I machine stitched it. I've heard from so many people that says handwork is a dirty word. But it's like, I even my pot holders got hand stitched down. I'm, I guess I'm just too picky. But this is going to Florida with me. It won't return with me. It'll go to Switzerland when it leaves there. Hi, Susan. Susan, you're out, joined us. She's off. It, it makes it look way better, though. Yes. There was one quilt shop I went to, and I asked them how they put their binding down, and the gal showed me, and there was this black thread on this, because she put black binding on. There was this black thread running through the yellow back of the fabric it was ugly and i says how much do you have to pay for that i didn't say it was ugly or anything and when she said putting the binding on was 87 dollars and i thought what 87 dollars for something that was ugly <laughs> my husband grabbed me by my shoulder and said let's go because <laughs> he knew i was about to say something and I said, I, I would never have a quilt put done there. And she said she does about nine quilts a day. Yeah. 
And then, so when I do someone's binding and I, I put it on and I do all this hand stitching and I only charge 75, I thought, whoa, they're getting one heck of a deal. I just do it because I, I like it better. It's like every time I get the camera where you can see what I'm doing, I hit it with the slowly back over with the quilt here. But someone has to do it. But it's, it's one of those. It's super windy here. I didn't want to go outside and do anything. Went in the garage, cleaned my pickup out a little bit. Found a sweatshirt in there that's not mine. And called my daughter, Ronnie, to see how she's doing. And because she gained weight and then she lost weight since the doctor appointment. They had to send a nutritionist in to talk to her. So now she has to write down every single thing she eats. She goes, you can't win for lose. Because she says, hi, Kenneth. And welcome to the, the test. Rita's. Yeah, I was I didn't even check to see if Rita or anybody was coming on. But I thank everybody for coming over for the test here. I could sit there and talk with you guys for a while. I'm sewing frame. Oh, on the fabulous summer moon. Too bad Kathy wasn't on here so we could summer moon her to death. That's her favorite word. Summer moon quilt is nah. It's like Susan's on seventh row and there's nine rows all together. Are you liking it with that row of sashing in there, Susan? I put a lot of sashing in mine because I wanted it to fit something. You know, I didn't want it to just be this little coverlet on top of a bed. I wanted it to cover the mattress and box spring. Pin cut sews. I'll have to go check that one out too. It's like, it's the only, that's the only one so far, at least, that you've put on there that I have no idea. You're not using the sashing? Okay. You changed your mind again? Or are you going to put a little more border? Because they only want a two and a half inch border. And that's not much of a border. You like pin cut so, Denise? It's like, like I said, I've never been there. She has a super cute house quilt right now. Okay. I need pencil and paper out here by my chair. And yes, and Mary, Mary Mabel. Mary, 
Mary Mabel Market. Oh, Carrie, you made me a wrench today? Okay. Yeah, I was over on your channel because it said Carrie was going live. And I waited and waited and waited because I was going to test it on StreamYard. But Carrie never came on. So, Carrie, we'll have to test it later. Oh. Both can be interesting. Okay. It's like I have lots to occupy myself, but it doesn't hurt to find somebody new once in a while. Oops. Didn't mean to rock with you guys. And my hair's a mess, I noticed. And thank you for putting Carrie's channel up there, Lisa. Carrie is a beginner quilter. She joined over... Rita's Roost and whatnot and thought it was interesting. So she started learning. Carrie's live right now. Hi, Della. Well, she's over here visiting. I was over there for quite a few minutes yes it's like I'm getting there I'm getting there I got I am so very very tired didn't get any sleep last night I well I seen that you went over and watched one of my videos did you watch which one Sandra we talked about my pay earlier today oh I'm sorry <laughs> oh, Carrie, I turned it off. Oh, okay. And Denise S. says, hello, everyone. What are you testing, Sandra K? I'm on Donna's, decided to open another browser, and here you are live. I'm testing out my Chromebook, trying to figure out if this would work if I go to Uh, Florida with because then I would only be in, taking a $99 risk and then Della oh you know what I made that that little pouch oh did, did it turn out good for you too that was my first one but I had fun And Lily Pop is the other Denise, Denise. <laughs> so we have Denise S and Denise P here. I'll have to post a picture somewhere. Are we friends on Facebook? And if we are, I'll see it. And there's Bailey, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I didn't say get on my lap. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Go go get it. <laughs> it's like that didn't work either. No, you're going to lose my needle. Well, I guess I'll take my needle out. And they're saying, hello, Bailey. <laughs> it's like up over the side of the couch, not or arm of the chair. Anybody want a small lap dog? <laughs> Come on, Bailey. Oh. No, you can't. <laughs> Bailey, <laughs> quit. Bailey, I'm being me uh, stern. It's not working. Get down. <laughs> Dang. <sighs> Hello, I can chat. Yay! You made it, Linda. 
now I got to figure out where I was even at and what thread. And guess what? I'm going to have to take the D shed. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I only got onion rings. Maybe she likes onion rings. I don't know. Now I gotta find where I put the needle. Yeah, it's husky love, all right. She keeps opening the back door and the wind keeps blowing it back open. And then it blows it shut and then it blows it open. And I go, come on, make up its mind. I gotta hide this string here. Found an end. But I don't know what Bailey's problem was. He definitely wanted to be a lap dog. Maybe she wants her own YouTube channel. Sure glad I can thread a needle without looking through the eye. Comes in handy every now and then. Oh, Linda's got to go to work. Well, I'm glad you stopped by and you can chat on this one. Everything's working good now. I hate that dirty word of work, but somebody's got to do it. I guess. So everybody's telling Linda Denton good, good night now. It'll start. See how fast that is to thread the needle? Uh, I heard uh, Denise P. say, That's what everybody says. Their old cell phones are better than a the, the camera, Terry. But it's like some of these people, when they say old cell phone, talking Apple 11 or whatever, and I, I don't classify that as old. To me, that's above my ta uh, my budget. Guess I should go finish that one, knot it off first. An Android? There's nothing wrong with Androids. Because my new phone's an Android. And that's what I did my short with the other day. Between that Android, my remote control watch. I work, used it as the remote. I was experimenting with it. Now she walked back. Hi, Marsha. I'm not going to do much of that. On, on my phone in this, but I just want to, I used my cell phones before I got a camera. I still do, pic, I still do pictures are better. Okay. I was trying to pitch if I bought one camera, which one to buy. And it's sure not the one that follows you. That makes me sick. And I bought, uh, so Terry, I bought a couple 
of remotes and a tripod. Little did I know the tripod came with its own remote. Okay. And little, uh, Denise, I had to get a new phone. Had my Samsung for years, but upgraded to an older iPhone. And Susan, my phone is an Android also. And, but it's being psycho. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Well, see, I have the iPad. And I used to have, and I still have, my first Apple phone. And my grandkids laugh at my first Apple phone. It's like, used to be right here in the drawer next to me. Oh, that one's my husband's. See, here's my husband's old LG. And I thought about using that. See how well that does for a camera. You use your old ice, your seven. My grandson has every model that's come out, I think. But, yeah, I thought, I have Apple, I think they call it 4. They didn't put a number, actually, on it. But I have an old, old Apple. I still have my husband's old razor. <laughs> it's, it's like, some place in, I have the, the ones that sl slid out the keyboard because our old old phones where you had to do the alpha thing it's like that's how I taught my grandkids they they spelled you should have seen all the things they put in there for phone numbers and names and stuff they had a blast and they could do that alpha thing faster than I could but they, they learn from there. But it was the fun. That's back when the old Nokia's. I don't even think of Nokia makes a phone anymore. But they had fun, and they called nine one one on it. Hi, Francis. They made a nine one one call on it. We got in trouble once. <laughs> We actually had a cop track us down and came to the door. So those, hi, Teresa Louise. I'm testing the $99 Chromebook. That's what I'm testing. I'm planning my, on my for my trip to Florida what I can take. And I wanted to see how this did alive. It's a $99 Hewitt Packard Chromebook. And everybody says it's doing good. Spoonflower has 20% off if anybody's curious. Spoonflower is great if you want a specialty fabric made. But I need to know also what the heck kind of fabric that means. Susan, you're out. I love my Samsung phone and not enjoying this Motorola. It chirps like in a text is coming in for nothing. It muted the alarms I used to play in the background. It shut itself off while just sitting on the table. Yeah, you might have to upgrade a little bit. Because even with something like this, if I was to go over the mountain with Susan again, we could stop and do a live YouTube in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> because I have my modem. I have the jet jet pack modem or whatever they call it. Fits in my pocket. But the only way you know if something's going to work is you have to try it. 
but I'm glad you guys say it's working great. Good thing my kitchen's clean. It's like looking over there, looking at the background and all around. I move. Yeah, that could be. Yeah, it would be fun. We could even do a live from Kathy's parking lot and see if she notices. That'd be fun. Right there, Susan. That would be a fun one. We could do a live from Kathy's parking lot and see if she notices that where we're at. Have to remember that one. <laughs> that would be, that'd be ornery, but that would be fun. Is everybody else just watching me one stitch at a time, one quarter inch of a time? Well, it's just under a quarter. You can't take huge stitches. Did you get your stuff? Okay, no damage or anything. Nope. Thanks for the laugh, Sandra. Okay. Okay. Hey, you know what I, I, you know, I am doing something. Yep. I haven't spelled something like that in a long time. Earlier, I wrote something I, and it sure didn't come out right. I says, my typing today kind of ucks. And. Teresa Louise was over. We watched the fabric. I'd hate to see what it costs to send something to Greenland. Hi, Karen Evans. Just testing the, the old Chromebook. A fellow Washingtonian. Here in my house, if you say something, Sebastian thinks it's, it's food. <laughs> it's like all I have to do is jiggle something, and I have a 52 pound nose smelling over here. And the next time I make stew, I'm putting Four pounds of carrots in there. So I get some. Because she loves her carrots. Good thing she really doesn't know what the word is yet. But it's like, yeah, my house will be quiet when she's gone. But it's like, I'm not going to miss the hair. I'm not going to miss the three o'clock nose. That seems to be the way she thinks she has to tell me. Okay. Okay. Bye, Mona. I'm glad you stopped by for the test. I'm having taco salad, Susan. I went up to our, our local Zips. And then I got a taco salad with the meat on the side so I could reheat the meat later. And then I split it in two bowls. Hi, Nina. And how are you today or tonight? Everybody telling Mona bye. 
see. Sometimes we have two Monas, and we have two Denises, two Susans normally, but the one Susan, her, her father just passed away, so she's busy probably helping take care of some of that. It's like, I'll see if I can keep doing this down onto the corner. I have that far to go. And for, I'm not going to get it done in five minutes, that's for sure. No. Uh, Susan Munger, her dad. Not that Susan. I think her dad's already passed. I don't know. She never speaks of her dad. Yeah. Florida, Susan. I am sewing the flapjack blocks. I'll have to. There's another one I'll have to look up. Flapjack blocks. If, if I can learn to say it. That would even be better, huh? And I'm testing out my new... I had to get more charging cords because my phone being new and whatnot. Because I only had one one plug-in to share. Let's see how it's doing. says 33%. Always got to check to make sure it's working. Yep, it's working. Yeah. See, my father passed away in 2017. Hi, Darlene. And how are you tonight? Or, yeah, it's night for most people. Susan S., Susan Y., and Susan M. Yeah. Well, one of them I don't see very often. Uh, it, it's a 2021 Fat Quarter Shop. Freebie. Okay. I Every time I go look at somebody's freebies, it just gets me wanting to make another quilt. But I do have some material that is, it's, Sandra, I've heard that LG is going to stop supporting their mobile phones in 2025. I'm thinking about just using it for camera, maybe. That was my husband's phone. It still has his pictures in there. When your husband passes and you get his phone, it's like, do you even want to look at the photos? And then, hi, Nancy. The, the night he passed away, I, I, the next day, I sent the final text to all of his friends off of his phone saying that he passed. I just thought it was appropriate. And they all, they, and a lot of them saved that message. Just like I have the last text message that he sent me saved. It's like I just didn't delete it. But looks like most of the 
we're getting quite a few of the group here. It says there's 38 people and 23 thumbs up. Yeah. It's kind of sad getting those things from their phone numbers, but I'd rather that someone let you know. Kathy is probably watching. Um. A, a ball game. Hi, Carol. And I'm using my husband's wallet because he had one of those long ones. Okay, June, you, you do what you have to do. If you're, you're listening, we won't talk about you. It, I use my husband's for holding the checkbook. And his credit card's still in there. His driver's license is still there. I didn't, it's like, don't want to show Alani that. Because then she, her papa. It's Papa Larry. I'm her Gigi Ma, but he's Papa Larry. But she knew his name before. Susan, you're out. Uh, the fabrics I ordered last February 10th from Joanne's that they said was lost and was refunded. The cost arrived yesterday after it going up and down the East Coast. I called to let them know. Okay. And... They probably already, somebody else just ordered a bunch of fabric and it's lost in the mail. And they refunded her money, so maybe she'll get her fabric eventually, too. Was told not to worry about paying for it as, as long as it took. Okay, so that's nice. That is nice. Yeah. I think it's candy ordered fabric. $100 worth. And it's lost in the mail someplace. Yeah. No special anniversary or anything, Nancy? It's like, should be, you'd think there would be something why it's making it harder this year. Ouch. I guess I can't sew my thumb here. It's just the 20 years of the death. It's, yeah, it's 21 years for my mother. Uh, it's like, Denise, you averaged 37 people each day all last week. You did, you did that. Okay. I know I had quite a few up there. I'm glad you guys all enjoyed me doing the lives. The bag is in real rough shape, but the fabrics weren't damaged. Okay. Who cares about the bag? It just gives you more to pack. And thanks, Terry. It's like... Just got to figure out who, what, when, where. 
seven years for your husband. Mine's just coming on six years. Oh, thank you, Denise. I think I found you, and that helped. I enjoyed you opening up the Missouri Star. I starting to vote on the clothes like you liked them. Thank you, Nancy. I've it's like over the years of quilting, I've had to learn little tricks to help fill in. Yeah, her sweaters that she wore each day. Carrie's dad passed away the same year my mother passed away. And question for Terry from Susan. Do you live in New York? That's a big place, but yes, she does. I have to go to work over there. <laughs> I will take you with me. <laughs> okay, Terry. And yes, she does live in New York. I do know that. It's not Upper New York, I don't think is what some people call Upper New York. It, yeah. Does, did she move to Upper New York, Susan? Hey, my thread's not going to run out until the corner. We have many islands, and I live on one of them. <laughs> yeah. I've looked at an aerial map of New York, and I go, okay. I said, I can't even begin to narrow down. Maureen gave me her daughter's address to ha so I could look up that one where she stays. She says she has an apartment above the garage. Hi, Chris. I I'm stitching on the binding. And hello, Christine. I'm hand sewing down the binding for the Florida quilt. Finger Lakes region. I'll have to go look at that. That's how I tra do a lot of traveling. It's like some people give me their address and say, look it up. Now, states for flatness, I know the one I would live, if I had to live, would be Nebraska. I couldn't believe how flat Nebraska was. I didn't like Wyoming. I don't know why. It was hot and miserable. Montana's too wide and open spaces. Oh, someone sent me a text message for something. It's like, come on, watch. Tell me who it was. Oh, I got to get this one. Ellen. Size. Up. To. A. Three. Please. And Emily, 
new mom. There. Florida is flat too. I'll find out when I get there. Oh, you had yours close together there, Miss Denise. Mom in 2020 and dad in 2021. It was, it's like mine was several years, 14 years in between. Tornadoes spring to fall and 100% humidity in, in summer, Nebraska. But I went across Nebraska without my husband. It's like I was going to Iowa to pick up my daughter, Melinda, the one that most people know. And it's like I told him, I'm going to go down through Wyoming into Nebraska. And he says, why? I says, because I Googled it. And it was only 55 miles further. And I want another state under my belt. Because I says, I don't travel like you. Mary, yes, it is flat too. Moved to Georgia and had a time driving the stick shift. <laughs> okay. But it's like, I think I'm stuck in the good old state of Washington. Ohio is pretty flat, too. If I went to Ohio, I'd be in trouble. It's like, that's awful close to a lot of people. Okay, so Terry's going to be listening but can't type. I said, I'm, I'm only got a few more stitches. And I'm up to the corner. And it's a pretty good test, so I'll change the title that to the test was an ex success when it allows me to do that. Parts of Indiana are hilly as can be. Then it flattens out. Well, I lived at between Galveston was the first place I lived in Indiana. And we moved to Peru. And then we um, ended up moving down to Miami. And we washed our clothes in Bunker Hill. All in Indiana. Everybody thought we shopped a lot. Or moved a lot. And then we went shopping at Kokomo. I love saying all that. And we got ice cream cones at Bennett Switch. <laughs> we was only there uh, about a year. Marsha, you must not have been all around Ohio. We have lots of curves and mountains. My husband wouldn't go to Ohio when we, my husband wouldn't go to New York. We had a chance to go to New York that wasn't going to cost us. And he wouldn't go, well, I was on my 10th month of pregnancy, might have been part of it, but it's like, I was only pregnant. She could have been born in New York. I didn't care. They come wherever they want to come. It's like, if we ever get on a topic, Denise, Carrie, anybody, Marsha, Christine, if we ever get on a subject that bothers you, just say, change the subject. Because you know, unfortunately, it is life and reality. It's like my daughter's mother-in-law called me today. 
saying how <laughs> it's like Lisa we gotta meet up someday uh she called saying Ronnie's not eating well I says I've been through my son at six years old having cancer his appetite went down. They didn't care that he lost 40 pounds at being six years old. And he wasn't overweight to, to begin with. So don't worry about Ronnie losing weight because I think it's all part of the chemo. But sometimes we get on some subjects that makes you wonder. It's like every once in a while over on Kathy's, we get on, they get on name that tune type thing. And I am not into the music. I have to, I would have to Google them all. And then I didn't spend a lot of time. We passed through Iowa, but when we lived in Indiana, we just, at Rantoul, and Melinda was born in at Champaign. And then somebody said we should have called her Bubbles. Bubbles Kinney. I said, that sounds like a stripper, not a kid's name. She's born the day after our first anniversary. Nice anniversary gift, right? <laughs> it's like bubbles would be better for a dog's name not a kid's name yep champagne illinois that's where she was born i'd like to go back and see everything around there again and she says if you do mom i'm going with you my view out the hospital window was the funeral home next door. And then my view out of the hospital on the last child was a funeral home again. Okay, your son's calling. Bye, Lisa. I'll, I'll probably be gone when you come back. I went around the corner and I have a little bit of string left, so I'm still going. It's like you get on this stretch and it's like, okay. Oh, no, Nancy. Your husband's going the wrong way. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's not funny, but yeah, that's the wrong direction, huh? But I was telling her, they crave salts. Does, does yours crave salts? Okay. Bye, Christine. Thanks for coming by anyway. Small maple star is framed. Medium pinwheel geese is getting it on its last strip. Hi, Stephanie. We talk purple poo sometimes. <laughs> Terry. Yep, we do. Sometimes we don't talk it. We know it. <laughs> it's like. We're just, I, I'm goofing off, Stephanie. I wanted to see if this Chromebook worked. And Lily Pop Love is one of, one of the gals I found following her. My brother was born a year and a day after my parents' first anniversary, too. Yep, we can't say it happened on the honeymoon. I heard Stephanie's got some chicks. So she's becoming a farmer or just needs some eggs or like cute chickens. 
No, he craves sweets. Yes, cancer grows from sugar. And Ronnie's trying to ignore them. And then the dietitian told her yesterday that she needs to put all colorful foods in her diet. So she saw uh, cooked up, steamed some of the all the colors of the broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and that together. Yeah. But, yeah. But Ronnie lost 30 pounds in two months. But they, she also gained weight before. She has to take in more proteins. That's, they told proteins and colors on your vegetables. Your injured baby girl is doing much better. Oh, no. Eight months and two weeks after the wedding. First babies come whenever. Uh, Denise, I was thinking about it this afternoon. You could actually be appointed to head several different government positions. You know so much about so many things. That's another reason why I listen. It's like when my family has to go through something, I am researcher. I research, I research. I get bored. Like I said that one day, the fly was irritating. So I Googled the fly and I said, okay, you're only got 30 days in this world. So go for it. And Nina, I carried my first baby almost 11 months. My second baby, I, they took her at eight months. And my son didn't make it to seven months. And he weighed nine pounds, one and a half ounces. He forced himself out of the warm tummy. I like the fact that I listen and you finish what you're just started up with the quilting. Okay. I around corner number. Did I start on the other side of a corner? Let me see. Yep. I started just on the other side of a corner. So I got one whole side and it's the short side. And then the cancers, I learned how to read blood counts. Yes, I do the blind stitch. Can you see them? Here. I'll put them up really close. I don't know where the camera's at. There it is. You can't see my stitches. Yep. I enjoy doing the blind stitch. No, you're not blind, Terry. It's just, I like my, my purple featherweight. And then it turns into your favorite color. I enjoy that. That's the first thing I watch for is the color, how the color changes. But it's, it was funny. I didn't. The first time I did for the gal that has the wiener dog that comes here. <laughs> yeah. It's like a lot of people go, what is, I do the binding stitch. <gasps> oh, Susan, I'm sorry. And you can't probably use them anyplace else either. 
I sorry. <laughs> but we're having fun. Way to go. The sixth grade grandchild just won the 100 and the 220 in her first track meet with sixth, seventh, and eighth grade girls from three other schools. I'm bragging. I'm waiting for the, the day that my grandson finally, great grandson finally says, Gigi Ma, I'm potty trained. I'll take him out to dinner and everything else. If It's like if he would just say that. But it's always not today. Okay. Phew. At least you can reuse them. So, luckily, you cut the long side wrong <laughs> that you can use them on the short side. But I got further than I thought I would get today. I mean, I still have more tonight to go. But I'm also trimming strings as I go. When my great nephew got potty trained, we made a cake with Tootsie Rolls on it to celebrate. He'd probably want a donut with pink sprinkles. They went to some donut shop. I don't know where it's at, but I'm going to... When I go up there next time, I want to go there. They get to pick the color of their frosting and whatnot and decorate their donuts while they're there. I don't know if they're good donuts or not, but it was, would be fun just to watch them enjoy themselves. That's the main thing. Enjoy them. Because I do have the great grandkids. All because I started young, but they didn't start. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow, Lisa. Thank you so much, Lisa, for posting my link. A milestone is in sight. Yeah, you're getting closer to that thousand, aren't you? I can't subscribe more than once, so it makes it hard. It's like, I got my kids, grandkids and kids, to go to Kathy's when we was trying to get her over the 300. But, you know, they won't subscribe to mine. I didn't, I didn't do something right with my grandkids. But it's like... They, they watched my first live with Kathy because they go, Grandma, you really said S-H-I-T? And I says, yes, I did. Because Kathy told me we wasn't live yet. There, looking for strings that I need trimmed. Or hidden or whatnot. 29 away? Okay. You'll get there. Did, did she have an online class or a different type of a class? Because I didn't get no notifications for anybody. I did Mona's earlier. <laughs> it 
it. The other day, I was down at the hardware store, and I says, hurry up. I got to get home. It's like, why? I says, I got to be on YouTube in 30 minutes. Well, they go, Ritzville's not that big across. I said, no, but you got to go in and make sure your hair is presentable. And it's like, if I'm outside doing yard work, I got to make sure that my shirt's clean and things like that. They go, for YouTube? Can't you go just as you are? I said, no, you have to be. Oh, her and her family had defense class? Okay. Uh, tonight, I released a video because our police department put on a self-defense class for women and teens. Heck, I have to have someone even walk by the house that isn't a neighbor. We talk about my small town USA living I have more traffic right now because they're building those two houses right down the street from me but I didn't think they would ever be anything I've lived here since 1985 Yeah, we, there's some people that have certain t-shirts with sayings that are sitting on their chair and they just flick into them real fast before they go on a live. That way they can wear the same shirt over and over again, where I try to make sure I don't wear two purple ones in, in a row or two gray ones. But it's like, and then I always make sure the room's clean. <laughs> it's like, I have one more side to stitch on mine. I have three to go. But not bad for just putting the binding on today. And then I kept warm under it. So now I have to refold it. <coughs> Excuse me. Because I the way it's folded on my lap makes it easier especially if Bailey decides to climb on my lap again. You're always in your PJs. No, I have to get up, get dressed every single day. Have to. It's me. <coughs> but I put my picture. Yes, I like your picture there. When did you take that picture? Should we guess how long ago that picture is in your little dumb thing there? I think June, was it June and I talked about it, or it was June and Mar or Marla and I talked about that your picture's there. <coughs> I'm going to say five years ago. I'm just guessing. I just put a number out there. I take a new selfie. <clears throat> every year on my birthday. You got to guess the little picture of So Terry down on her little thing there. Guess, guess when it might have been taken. Yesterday, two years ago. <coughs> it's not yesterday. I can tell you guys that. Because it was this weekend I seen it up there. Susan saying seven, a month, ten. <laughs> 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 
last week. Three. Okay, night June. Even though she's telling all this to Terry. <clears throat> I just put the link in June. Okay. Now we'll wait and see what the, the verdict is on So Terry. Is the link for June? Or is that for anybody? <laughs> okay. Well, I can't go to it. It'll take me off screen. But I did put the chat to where this should come back up afterwards. I did do that again. You have to wait a couple hours. I don't have my mouse with me, so I can't do anything fast. I took the mouse out of this because it quit working the other day. It would probably, let me see, I can try the Chromebook if I disappear. Well, I can't even figure out how to scroll. I must have it on big. I have to go down and unzoom. Because it's not giving me the sidebar to move anything around. If I disappear, it's because that didn't work. Okay, let's see if this works back. And, ooh, I did something right. Except for it's little tiny print now. I had to reduce it to 67% to get anywhere. I got to get the text back up to the right size. Guess it takes a while. Oh, now I have somebody pinned. And I got to figure out how to get back down to the bottom. It is slow and responding on this stuff, so I don't see your guys' chat. All else fails. Dig out the other apparatus. Close, open, live. Just because it's not bringing up my chat. Uh, lovely picture. It's like, Nancy says, can I take back my guess? Hi, farm wife. <laughs> I just sat it down, farm wife. I'm putting on binding. That's a good one. Okay, let's see. Uh, does anyone know? 
Hey, you got the Lily, Lily Pop Love. She has a channel. I never noticed your picture either. I see Sebastian in his pink eye. Well, how do you do so, Terry? Glad to meet you. <laughs> yeah, that one night I was on visiting with somebody and I said, look, Terry put a picture up. And see, now I can't figure out how to move this one because it was loading. And it hasn't loaded it up yet. Now I have all my screen. Wow, that's really goofed up now. Yep, there's her picture. <laughs> I keep moving it. Yes, I have seen her before, and I love her accent. All my, the friends we had from New York. It's like, it was something else. I love their accents. Yeah, it's like. Laura was there, yes. Now you can't take it down yet. It's like, I got to get my screen over there. Yep, there's your little Sebastian. Because that's the picture I went up and looked at. What accent? I don't have no stinking accent. <laughs> it's like, I don't have an accent either. But people say I do too. But, yep. And I referred to my... every Everyone on this new featherweight as our colors. So now I got to take and make this bigger again. Or it's, at least it's supposed to make it bigger. That. Yes, we do have accents. Yes, her elephant, everything green. And see, the way she painted the sew machine, I was going to do purple and blue with my Volkswagen Bug. But when I went and got that price, it's like, okay, it'll stay blue. And she shrunk her elephant down. Is that the same elephant like Ella? I'm not going back there as slow as my thing responds. Well, you have to go with green. And it worked out perfectly because it gives it... I think that's what helps give it that almost black look at times.
Okay. Yeah, we had quite the elephant thing going. It's like, we was having fun. Hi, Melinda. Mine does too, Nancy. It was I was born in Florida and moved around a lot. I started in Washington. I'll probably end in Washington State. State. Somebody was trying to tell somebody I lived in Washington, D.C. And one of the persons that's always over here in Kathy's and ours, they said, no, she lives in Washington State. I'm going to say goodbye, Sandra. Have a great night, everyone. Keep your fingers crossed that I get some sleep tonight. I hope you do, too. I actually slept six hours last night in one stretch and scared myself. Oh, they have quite the... Accent. You do medical billing for the Washington State? Wow. I figured it was English. Good night, Susan. You'll send me a text of the when the road gets on. <laughs> it's like I've had my granddaughter who's two and a half, so I'm responding to a lot of stuff. Okay. <laughs> I do for trios and lords. Okay. She has a Southern English accent. Mary, six hours sleep might make me cranky. It's like, uh, I'm used to four. I average four. But in that four hours, I'm usually awake right in the middle. Nancy was born in northern Indiana, moved to Kentucky, then got married and moved everywhere. But it's like my mind thinks all night. I can get up at three in the morning like I did this weekend, went out and did a row on this quilt on the long arm and then went back to bed for two hours. But at least I had something to go to. And I'm back from her dog walk. Says Carrie. Yeah. It's the six hours makes me a little crankier. But I, I woke up and I had to um, call Ronnie's mother-in-law because she wanted to talk to me about my daughter. So I thought I'd be the nice and I would call. See, I don't think a pistachio anything would be good. I don't like pistachios. But it was kind of nutty. <laughs> I've never. Well, I never thought I would drink a green smoothie with all those different concoctions in there. And it was actually pretty good. It's amazing what food. Cheese, pistachio, ice cream in the martini. It's like Ace's food. You should have had one for me then. Next time you tell your friend. My friend in Washington State wants one. And she said I could drink it. <laughs> Five police, two car. 
this morning, okay, at daycare? I did, I did. <laughs> well, you could have had a third one. See, I have to test it to make sure. Let's see if Susan sent a picture. Nope. I hope you all have a great night. See you soon. Bye, Denise. I'm I'm going to go too. Cause I have to get up and eat my dinner, walk around the house, check my yard and everything, and then I'll sit down and start on this side. But I just wanted to see if this works or not. Because that it gives me an option that's way better. And it's just one of those. Yes, I have to finish up here, here and get to relaxing. Have a good night, all. See you somewhere in cyberspace. I'll be over at Kathy's link. 10 a.m. my time tomorrow. My granddaughter Emily is trying to get into medical billing right now. That's what she's going to school for. So she can stay home with her little one. She's finding an at-home billing. Do you bill at home? Or do you go into the office? If nothing else, I'll catch her on another day and ask her. But I'm going to tell everybody good night and thank you for coming. Follow Stephanie and Lily, uh, Denise and everybody on their YouTube channels. Have fun. Enjoy. And we'll see you tomorrow morning. I'm sure most people will be there. And Carrie, if you're going to, if you start another live. Then I'll be there. But I need a 30-minute break. I'd like to test the Chromebook to see if it works with StreamYard or not. Night, Mary. Night, Della. Everybody. Oh, June, I thought you left. Bye, everybody. I will. I will get some rest. Between midnight and 4. Night, Karen Evans. We'll see you all. It's like I'm, I was going to write in the chat here. And thanks for coming. Bye, Teresa. But see you later. Go back here. And here...